I am going to present a case report on gynecology. The case is about ovarian cancer. So let's start with the patient complaint. A 72-year-old woman has been admitted with softness of breath. On further questioning, she says has been unwell for eight weeks. She has decreased appetite and nausea when she eats. She has lost weight, but her abdomen feels swollen. She has generalized dull abdominal pain and constipation, which is unusual for her. There are no urinary symptoms. She has always been healthy with no previous hospital admissions. She is a widow and did not have any children. Her periods stop at 52 years and she has no postmenopausal bleeding. She has never taken hormone replacement therapy. Let's come to laboratory reports. Here, as we are seeing, hemoglobin is decreased, which means we can say that we can say that the patient is having anemia, and albumin is also decreased, which can be because of any liver disease or malnutrition. And this CA one twenty five, which is the biomarker for the uh, ovarian cancer or carcinoma. This is also elevated, which is one one eight ku per liter. Uh, the, uh, let's come to diagnosis. By subjective and objective data, the diagnosis suggests a right pleural effusion or ascites. The presence of pelvic mass would suggest that this is due to an ovarian or bowel problem. Let's next test is next test is chest, uh, chest X-ray, which confirms effusion, and CT shows left side pelvic tumor and ascites. There are also solid area in the anterior abdominal wall that represent on mental infiltrations by the tumor. As CA125 is a non-specific marker for ovarian carcinoma, this diagnosis is therefore likely to be that of ovarian cancer, which is commonly present with systemic symptoms when metastatic disease is already evident. Let's talk about what is pleural effusion or ascites. Pleural effusion or ascites is defined as the accumulation of free fluid in the peritoneal cavity. It is a common clinical finding with the variety of both extraperitoneal and a peritoneal etiologies. It is most often post caused by liver cirrhosis in 75% of the patient, malignancies 10% of the patient, heart failure 3% of the patient, pancreas 1% of the patient, and TB 2% of the patient. Let's discuss about treatment of the case or the, let's solve the complaints of the patient. First, surgical aphrosm or which we can say as there is no diagnosis without surgical diagnosis means that tissue need to be obtained to confirm the diagnosis second laparotomy should be performed with three objectives first objective is obtaining tissue for diagnosis second staging a disease according to the extent of tissue involvement and third primary debulking which means to perform a total abdominal hysterectomy and bilateral slapping of rectomy and to reduce all abdominal tumor deposit to a volume of less than 2 cm, which allows optimal effects of chemotherapy following surgery. Lymph nodes, dissection, or mental resections are usually part of the procedure. Prior to any treatment, this woman also needs drainage of her pleural effusion for symptomatic relief and optimization for anesthetic. Last, the prognosis of prognosis for ovarian cancer is poor, as most women present at the stage three or four. So thank you, everyone. I hope you have liked this video, have learned something new. Thank you so much.